This video is one in a series of videos that cover database topics in three themes. We look at Oracle Apex, Application Express for web applications, relational database concepts for designing and building databases, and SQL, the programming language for working with a relational database. If you want to work with the video series, you can go to this URL to get the scripts and handouts. In this video, we're going to modify the animals table again, which we did in previous videos. And we're going to use Object Browser to add a column to that table. And we're going to use that column to store a picture. We're going to delete and recreate a form on a modified table. But we won't delete the associated report. What we'll do is go in and edit the report and change the redirect or target of that report when you click the edit icon. Then we'll see how the form works in terms of display and upload of pictures. I'm logged into the Animal Shelter workspace as one of the developer accounts. This time I'm Mina Mendez. I'm going to click on Application Builder and then click on My Application and I'm going to run that. I'm going to click on this link to open the list animals report. I get an error message. We know from a previous video that we no longer have a column called dom underscore breed. What we have is a foreign key field called dom underscore breed underscore ID. So I can fix that by coming in here to edit page two and I can click on the report on the left side, look at the code over here in the source code, and I can change that to the appropriate field name. Now we've already seen in an SQL video for the previous Apex 6 that these double quotes are not necessary, but they also don't hurt anything. So if this is valid, and I click this to verify that I have valid SQL, it says this is successful. So now I'm going to save and then run that page. So now I have so now I have the report and if I scroll down and get the scroll bar then I see that I have for dom underscore breed underscore ID I get a number. We'll deal with that shortly probably in the next video, will show a name instead of a number. But underneath, at the database level, a number is being stored that identifies which specific breed that animal has been assigned. Now if I come over here to the edit, and I need to get back down here to scroll, and I can click any one of these pencils and it will open up the form. So I'm going to click on this pencil for the first record. I'm getting an error message. I get an error message because the inconsistency between when the form was created and the state of the table right now for animals. But I can go straight to edit page 3, which is what I want to do. It's not working, but I can still edit it. So I'm going to do that. And my edit is actually going to be to come up here and delete. I do recommend that when you're going to delete a page that you first run it because there are many pages that you'll have in your application. So don't just look at the list of page names at the initial application page. Open that page, go to edit that page, and then delete that page. Otherwise, you're going to find that you accidentally delete the wrong page at some point. So I'm going to click delete here. I'm getting rid of the form, not the report, just the form. So I click permanently delete. I'll go back to my application and we see I no longer have page 3. Now what we want to do is we're going to modify the table once again before we recreate the form. And just as a side note, I'll probably say this more than once in future videos, if a simple report or form is not working, don't try to fix it. In general, you don't need to fix it, just use Apex to regenerate it. It's so easy to create a working report 
or form from Apex. So unless you have customized it a great deal, it's probably quicker to have Apex recreate it. In some situations in my videos, we'll edit those and make the corrections just so we see what properties are being affected in the page. But right now, let's go add a column to the animals table using SQL Workshop Object Browser. So I'll click on Animals and I want to add a column. And I want this to be Animal Pick. The data type is going to be Blob. I don't need to set the other properties for this column. I click Next and I Finish. And when I scroll down, I see I, ha I see I have animal pick as a data type blob. I'm going to use that to store pictures of animals. So I'm going to go back to Application Builder, go into my application. I will create a page, and this will be only a form. I'll click on Form, and then I'll say Form on Table. I already have a report. I don't need to create another report. And it's suggesting page number three, and that's what we had deleted before. I will leave that as it is, and I'll say animal info. Now I do need to specify, because it's not working in conjunction with a report page, I need to specify what happens when I click submit in the form. And I'm going to have it go back to the list of animals. If I click Cancel, I'm going to have it go back to the list of animals. And I will click Next. I'm not going to have it create a navigation item because actually the report has a navigation link. And that's how we get to the form, through the report, by clicking that Edit icon. So I pick my Animals table and click Next. All the fields are shown here. And I'm going to have the table managed by the primary key field. Now I'm going to save and run that form. So we now see this, animal pick. So let's try it. It's saying choose a file. In the zipped file that you downloaded, so you could work along with me, you have a folder with pictures. I'm going to click on this and go get one of those pictures. So here I see my pictures. I'm going to pick one. I'm going to pick one and then click Open. So we have that reference to that particular picture. But we don't see the animal. We also don't see our primary key field anymore. So let's go edit this. We don't see the primary key because it's been recreated and hidden. So I'm going to make this display only while I'm here and do animal ID. Then I'm going to come down to animal pick and, and I'm going to leave it as is because we do need the option to, we do need the option to locate a picture and upload it. So what I'll do now is I'm going to create a page item. So I'll right click on items, create page item, and here we have the naming convention, P3 for page 3 underscore, and I'm going to do animal, or I'm going to do P3 underscore pick. I can't use animal pick because I already have an element with that name. I'm going to change that to display picture or display image. And then I will scroll down. And remember, we have to associate this with a field in the table. So it is a database column, but the name of it isn't pick. It's animal pick. And I will say here, I'm pretty sure this is case sensitive. So type it in uppercase. And let's try it. Let's click Save and run it. I'm seeing my primary key field. And when I scroll down, I'll go choose that because I forgot to save it. I didn't do apply. I'll pick that and I'll apply the changes. 
go back in from the report, scroll down. So I have the option to upload a file and I get a display of the file I've uploaded. Let me change that. I'll pick a different dog and apply the changes. Come back in from the report, scroll down and I get a different picture. And I just realized that the report is working with the form and that's because we use the same page number that we had on the form before. I actually meant that to be a different number so that the report and the form didn't work together so we could edit those properties, make the report work with the form again. I'll save that for another video. I'm sure it will come up.